What is going on, party people? It's your boy, Uncle Jim. Thank you so much once again for joining me for another fantastic video. Today, we're going to be going over my Warzone loadouts here. Over on my TikTok page, a lot of people have been down in the comments talking about my loadouts, uh, saying how good they are, how bad they are, offering suggestions, which you know I always appreciate, and just in general having a lot of conversations about my loadouts. So what I wanted to do was put together a comprehensive video that would display my loadouts, and I'll talk about how I use them, how best to get wins using these kind of loadouts, and how best to play if you're an unexceptional average player like myself. I don't consider myself a great player. I think I'm pretty average. And I'm going to show you how you can get wins despite that fact. So without further ado, let's get into all these classes. Before we get into the guns, though, I want to show like the template for most of these classes. I'll show a template for some of the other ones once we get there, but most of these classes share the same template. You want to get your AR, SMG, whatever it is. Your secondary on all of these, except for one, no, all of them, literally, is the Dirty Harry Snake Shot, which is the Snake Shot build that I have. 357 long, lightweight trigger, Snake Shot, 5 milliwatt laser, and a Kimbo. These things are great. I, I don't lose close-up engagements with these things. They're absolutely fantastic. Use those things until they nerf them, honest to God. Your perks, EOD, Ghost, Amped. I've explained why I use those, but EOD, so I'm not getting blown up by C4 and rockets and stuff. Ghost, so I'm not on UAVs and heartbeats. Amped, so I can pull out my snake shots a lot faster. Proximity Mine, not only because it breaks armor pretty quickly if somebody detonates it, if I'm in a building or something, but what it also does, which is a huge, huge advantage, is it lets me know that someone's nearby. If I put a mine down and someone walks over it, I now know exactly where they are. Huge, huge benefit. And then Heartbeat Sensor, everyone runs it. Nothing too specific about that. But that's the base of all of these classes. All right, so these first couple of classes, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one to an extent, are all kind of interchangeable. These are all AR builds. They do serve different purposes. They do do different things. Uh, but they're all, for the most part, interchangeable. Specifically, these first three. These three here are all pretty similar in terms of mobility, in terms of damage output, in terms of range. I do prefer the Growl to the other two, but the M4 and the M13 are both some really, really good choices. So, starting with the M4, we'll go through that one first. I've got the Monolith Suppressor, the Stock Grenadier Barrel, the Tactical Foregrip, the Mini Reflex, and the no stock attachment. As you can see down here, we've got some good increases to our accuracy, our range, and our control. So we're minimizing recoil, maximizing range, and getting some pretty good hip fire spread also in terms of accuracy. A lot of pros run a similar setup. I like to have an optic, a lot of people don't. Uh, I prefer the optic, it's just a personal preference. You don't need to do the optic, you can take that off, put a perk on. Uh, put the larger mags on something like that but this is my m4 build i kind of like to just call it an m16 because it looks more like an m16 but that's my m4 build moving on to my m13 got the tempest marksman the monolithic suppressor tactical foregrip 300 blackout that's a change that i've made recently and the gi mini reflex again huge boost to your range a big boost to your uh, recoil control accuracy and damage getting a subtle boost and you lose a little bit of mobility. This one here is a long range, I, I would call it a slayer. It's a long range slayer, long to medium range. I use this one here because I really enjoy being able to be up in, let's say, airplane tower and shoot people that are down on the ground with pinpoint accuracy, get down and let my sniper teammates or my close range teammates jump down and get kills. This is to break down armor. This is almost kind of a support class, if I, if I am being honest. I like to break down armor, get people down and let my teammates do the dirty work, so to speak. So this is a really great class for that. Uh, moving on, my Growl. Growl is another really easy setup. What I love about the Growl is it's super high mobility. Uh, you don't lose much mobility at all with this setup, and you gain a whole lot of other things. So range is maxed out. Control, you get a big boost. Accuracy, you get a big boost. It's very similar to the M4 in that way. Monolithic Suppressor. Archangel Barrel, Cronin Shark, GI Mini Reflex, and the No Stock Attachment. It's a great build. Uh, what can I say? I love using this gun. I won a, won a game last night with it. It's a great, great build, for sure. After those three ARs, I have two here that are kind of kind of interesting. Uh, the Odin is a heavy, heavy hitter. I do recommend having some teammates with some quick-moving weapons when you're using this one. So if you got a lot of SMG-using teammates, you can break out this Odin class. Monolith Suppressor, Attack Laser, Force Attack Battles, Rubberized Grip, and Tactical Foregrip. Huge control increase. 
a little bit of range, big accuracy increase, you do lose a little bit, bit of mobility. Uh, but this thing hits hard. It hits real, real hard. I have a bunch of videos. I might include clips here and there of like how good these guns are, but this thing's just a dominant, dominant force for sure. Over here, you've got your Ram 7. This is one that I don't use all that frequently. As you can see, I don't have it platinum yet. Monolith Suppressor, Ranger, Tactical Foregrip, Granulated Grip Tape, GI Mini Reflex. You lose a lot of mobility with this, but you gain a lot of control. You gain a lot of range. You gain a lot of accuracy. I don't know. I've been playing around with this one. I don't love it, but a lot of people like the Ram 7, so I wanted to include some kind of build for it. Uh, it's a huge, huge long-range slayer. Again, kind of like the M13. I do sacrifice some mobility to make it this way. It does hit at pretty far ranges, so go ahead and give it a try if that's your thing. Okay, after my ARs, I have a couple of SMG builds here. These are quick-moving, uh, run-and-gun type builds. I grab these typically when my teammates are all AR users because I like to diversify the ammo types. So I have my P90, my MP7, and my MP5. Uh, this should have shrapnel. And the reason that I switch up the perks a little bit with these is because I like having that quick use C4, be able to just yeet that at somebody, insta-detonate, down them, blow up a vehicle, uh, push a building if somebody's camping, if I can break up their armor a little bit. Again, these are quicker moving builds. So everything else is the same, though, for the most part. I use EOD and Ghost, Heartbeat Sensor, C4 instead of Mines, uh, but it's still the same Dirty Harry, and then I'll show you the class setups for these. Monolithic Suppressor, Tac Laser, Grandulated, Grandulated, Fry Strap. You gain mobility, you gain control, you gain range, you gain accuracy. Gonna be moving pretty quick, like I said, and you don't lose any recoil. You actually gain recoil control, which is nice on the P90. Uh, that's my fastest as an uh, SMG. MP7, everyone knows this setup. It's pretty much a standard setup. Monolithic, Recon, Tac Laser, Tac Foregrip, 60 round mag. It's a beast. Everyone uses it. I don't know why I'm even including it in the video, but it's, it's a dominant, dominant gun. Uh, MP5, this is the Rampage MP5. I use the Subsonic Integral Suppressor, Tactical Foregrip, 45 round mags, Granulated Grip Tape, and the Close Quarters Stock. Actually, I'm going to switch this to the 10 millimeter. Yep, that's better. Mobility, control, damage, and accuracy all go up. You lose a little bit of range. You lose a little bit of fire rate. I'm not interested in those with my SMG builds. I'm more interested in my mobility and my control. Uh, again, it's a great, great gun. If you're using something like this, again, make sure you have teammates with longer range weapons so you can beat those mid-range to long range engagements. But if you're using something like the MP7, you should still be okay. The P90 and the uh, MP5, a little bit closer quarters, but you get the idea. So these last two classes here are super specific, uh, very oddly specific loadouts. Uh, the reason that I have both of these built is I was encountering situations that were weird and I wanted to have builds that were just for this. So this class here is my riot shield class. The reason I have this is a lot of times I'll notice I get out the gulag, there's a loadout drop nearby, but the boys are in a fight and they need help right now. Uh, close quarters typically what I'll do is I'll grab this because I have double time so I can get to my teammates quickly High alert so I'm more aware of what's going around on around me amped to pull up the snake shots quickly Stun grenade obvious c4 obvious riot shield I can block for my teammates if they're you know No plates or they're getting revived or what have you and then snake shots because you cannot beat them at close quarters They're just the best close quarters gun in the game right now then I have my Kilo set up. This is for, I'm the only one who gets out of the Gulag. I gotta get all of my teammates up. I have to be quiet. I cannot be seen or I'm going to die. Uh, this is a really easy loadout to use. I'll show you. Sigma Arms, Whisper Barrel, Commando Foregrip, GM Mini Reflex, Close Quarter Stock, fully loaded. You don't lose much mobility with this. I actually might make this a higher mobility build in the near future, just with some minor tweaks, but this is what I'm using right now. Uh, you're not going to be heard because you have the whisper barrel on, so you're going to be moving quietly. And what's great about this is that I also have these stealth perks, cold-blooded and ghost running. So no one's going to be able to see me on heartbeat sensor. Nobody's going to be able to see me on a thermal scope. Nobody's going to see me on a UAV. It's a great, great class for getting some recons done real quick, getting some scavengers done real quick, and getting some loot, some cash to revive your teammates. That is my comprehensive Warzone loadout video, guys. That's all of my loadouts in their entirety. Uh, I use these pretty regularly. I typically use these three. These are my most three used loadouts. 
but everything else does see playtime if the situation arises if i have to use some uh, smg rounds if i have to hit some longer range high damage shots i use those two if i gotta help the homies out in some kind of way i use those two but for the most part i stick to these three if you guys have any questions please put them in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to check out my tiktok my tiktok is exploding right now having a ton of fun over there i love all those guys that are following i appreciate you guys thank you so much for the support and i will see you later bye bye